I used to love just the feeling of seeing my work in print. It's like you feel like you made it, your work made print. And to put them into my portfolio back then when I would go to castings and I got to rearrange the tear sheets. <laughs> So we are shooting a cover shoot today with Mega. I'm really, really grateful for this opportunity. I consider myself a Mega baby because I've been working with this publication since I was 16 years old. So it's been a really long time. And I am also working with Bulgari today. We are here in the beautiful Bulgari Hotel in Bali. And my look is almost complete. This is my first look, but I have one piece de resistance that's missing. When I get asked to be on the cover for Mega, it's a huge honor because ever since I started out in modeling all the way through my journey, being on the magazine cover is such like a milestone. Um, and it's always, my covers with Mega have always correlated with something really important in my life that's happening. And of course, this year has been a really exciting year for me, both for my work and my personal life. So I'm so, so grateful that Mega has invited me back in no other than Bali, Indonesia, here at the Bulgari Hotel. Okay, I'm ready for the first layout. I'm in my first look. Let's go. My first shoot with Mega was one of their age-appropriate series, which is like 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. 2011, I think this was in Batangas. Um, this was shot by Doc Marlon. It was a series of photo shoots that we did on that same location that happened to be my absolute favorite editorials because just the movement of the shoot was very free-flowing. It was very easy to shoot. Mega Team's always such a breeze to work with. For young models starting out, um, you need to really put in the work and the hours because the choices of the jobs that you get offered aren't necessarily your own. But be open to the opportunities that present themselves and then just embrace it. You'll learn so many different things, work with amazing people who you will find that you will work with, with you for years to come. It's really wonderful to see how everyone's grown and evolved in their own industry, but still end up interconnected also under the umbrella of fashion and beauty. So. Just enjoy the process. Everyone has their own journey, their own timeline. Just embrace what's yours. Oh my gosh, January. Oh, December cover shot, 2016. This was just after I competed. But I had shot it before I went to compete in Miss World. And it's kind of cool because I'm photographed also with Michelle D, who is also a world to universe crossover. She's representing us in the upcoming Miss Universe competition. So pretty cool to look back on and see where everyone ended up now. Oh, digital cover! Right before I competed, Jelly also did this makeup. And we had some crazy nails, like metallic nails. <laughs> um, but this was actually released habang I compete ako sa Thailand. So it was really, really nice because at that time, I was very strategic about my content and what was being released. So it's lang na na release yung mega digital cover. Na to. My first solo print cover was, of course, during my reign. I was really, really happy about this opportunity because it was the independence issue. So it released in June and we shot it in all silver looks at the skyline of New York. And it was a nod to my silver linings quote while I competed in my final answer. If you look back through my journey of being a model to starting out in pageants to trying again for Bini Bini Filipinas, like Mega has always punctuated those moments in my timeline. So that cover 
was a real celebratory cover for me. Okay, so my next cover after my Reina's Miss Universe on Mega was in 2020. This was very like, sagit na ng pandemic. 2020, oh, 2020 siya. But it was an absolute bucket list concept for me because it was, I was told I would be underwater. And I'm such a water baby. I love being in the sea, in the ocean, in any body of water. So when I knew the concept of the cover and also that it would be associated with the message of still we rise, so brang na excited ako. That being said, it was definitely a challenging shoot. As you could see in the behind the scenes, we tried to make it as, look as easy as possible, but it was a little bit challenging. But the product, like our effort paid off. It was beautiful images by Dugi Dukai. I feel like I'm really entering into a new chapter of my life. I'm gonna get married soon. Um, I'm also feeling like I'm really being stretched in terms of uh, what I want for my career. So I'm doing a lot of different things at the moment, which is challenging, but also it feels like a good stretch of my capabilities and also in my faith. It's a time of change, but in a really good way. And that's why I'm so honored to have this cover with Mega that I'm sure I'm going to look back on as a moment that my life was pivoting and that I was growing even more into the woman that I'm supposed to be. Um, so it's very, very special. Although we're not quite wrapped with shooting, the sun is setting, so I am gonna say bye to you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and the Mega team and the Bulgari team as well. We can't wait to share with you the images and also the finished product from the shoot. A lot of love went into this and of course shot here in Bali, Indonesia. So you guys lots and lots of love. Thanks for spending time with us. Bye. Bye.